what's up guys it's your girl whispiration and i'm back with another video um and as you can see i just got a new hairstyle about two weeks ago yep i got knotless braids and if you guys want to know all the information about my knotless braids how i felt about it where i went if it hurt if it didn't hurt um you can watch my knotless braids video explanation and I'm gonna put that in the description box so that you can see that too if you're interested in the process and you know, everything like that. But today, this video is going to be about, it's going to be about hair. It's gonna be about hair preferences. It's gonna be about hairstyles like this and just being a black woman and you know, getting our hair done a lot because we get our hair done a lot. Hair is. Hair is actually our culture. Um, we've had so much history, good and bad, with our hair, and it's part of us. Like, it's not just hair. Because people say, like, I remember Amanda, and this is, guys, this is gonna be a very ranty video. So it's not gonna be organized, so I'm sorry. But I remember Amanda, Amanda, I was gonna say Amanda Styles. Amanda Seals. Um, was saying it, it it is like because you know how people are like it's not it's it's just hair it's not just hair for black women especially it's not just hair because we have deeply rooted things in us period but in our hair is it's so much deep root history and now our hair has grown into a huge community we have all different things that we do with our hair as black women and it's all beautiful no matter what we choose to do so with that being said i'm gonna do a video on specifically black men hair preferences for black women and i want to talk about this because i've seen i've been seeing and i've been on instagram i'm doing this because this is this is what i do when i'm on instagram when i'm searching i'm seeing i'm seeing all these things and comments when black women get our hair done and we should just keep our hair natural and we just want to wear weaves because we because we want to look white first of all what white girl is having their wig laid with the edges like that and wearing pink and blue hair and if they are who did they get it from but anyway, um, yeah, I've just seen comments about our hair and how we should be wearing it and we shouldn't be doing this and we shouldn't be doing that. And it's really not up to y'all as black men. And I'm just going to, I'm not, this is not like a hate black men thing because y'all get, like some of y'all get real defensive and, it's, and this is not it. It's just, I want to speak on it as a black woman because I just feel like we have the right to change our hair when we want to. Especially because knowing our history, knowing how our, what kind of hair we have that's versatile, we this is just what we do. This is like a special, you know, because it's black girl magic. It's because we're melanin queens. This is just, we. This is what we do, and, and y'all just got to get used to it. Cause y'all, it's no other women that do this like us. <laughs> so it's just like y'all, even our own black men, they're not even used to it to how we move, cause we're queens like that. So. Yeah, so but basically I want to get to the point too. Some certain, some things like I want to do like, I'm going to talk about some experiences that I've had with men, what they said to me and like my friends and stuff. And then I'm going to talk about like, um, you know, things I've seen with men, especially 50 Cent um, in particular, because he's always commented on black women and her hair and everything and just saying things negative. Um, I just want to talk about that. So... I know like, okay, so my friend, when we were, we were talking to these guys and we were gonna go on a date with them and we were, she was telling him that we were gonna get our hair done braided and he was like, oh, you're gonna get it braided? Well, how's that gonna look? And it's just like, what frustrates me with like some black men is they act like they don't know us. They act like they don't, know how what our process is with our hair what we do our hair how we do it how we upkeep it they act like they don't know us and it really frustrates me because unless some of these men did not grow up with 
I mean, you had to grow up with at least one black woman because that's how you came into this world. And maybe their moms didn't change their hair or whatever, but I know a lot of black men, especially like my dad and my uncles and stuff, they had sisters, they had moms. You saw your mom do her hair. You saw her put her bonnet on at night. You saw her put rollers on her hair at night. You saw her upkeep at night. You saw her be versatile. Like sometimes she would wear her hair out. Sometimes she would wear it up. Sometimes she would wear a wig. Sometimes she would get her hair braided. Like sometimes she would do that. And it's just like, and then you had your sisters, like my dad. He saw the whole process of his sisters getting their hair done, sitting on the floor between their mom's legs. They're getting it brushed, they're getting it detangled, they're getting it braided, they're getting it straightened. Whatever went on, you saw the process of how black women do our hair. You saw it, you saw us put, you saw us wrap our hair up, put it in a scarf at night. You saw all of that. So what makes me real frustrated is when they look at you like you're foreign and you already have the rest of the world looking at you like that, like I said, because the, the world isn't used to us. We, we're just so versatile and just so, we're just so like, beautiful and just unique that people can't handle it so there we got people looking at us from that's not our race saying what are you doing why are you doing that why are you change your hair every day or every week why are you putting a scarf on your head at night we have them asking us but why do we have to have y'all asking us y'all was raised with women like us doing the same thing but then all of a sudden when you grow up you want to act like you never saw that before like no don't do that so that's annoying and then it's just I noticed that like they just some black men and I don't know if they because black women and black men we have two different um we have this we have some of the same struggles but we have two different struggles when it comes to racism and everything like black women have a totally different experience from black men just gonna tell you that now we're two different kinds and it's different so I don't know if they understand like that we are different and we're not gonna have the same straight hair the same curly hair or kinky hair cuz like I know a lot of black men who love that they love you know the natural hair thing and then when you go change your hair oh why did you do that why, well, now you want to straighten your hair. You want to look white. No, I don't want to look white. I'm just black. I'm a black woman, and this is what we do. This is our culture. This is. It should not be foreign to you. It should not be foreign that one week I'm going to wear my natural hair, then one week I'm going to put a wig. Because guess what? That wig is a protective style. And I don't have to go through that again with you because you know that. Like, it's like I know that sometimes I'm going to have to explain, which I don't ever feel like explaining to anybody, but to people that aren't in our culture and that aren't in our race that acts about the switch ups with the hair and stuff but you should know that and like all of our hairstyles majority of the time are protective hairstyles even the ones that people try to say that we're trying to whitewash and look white when we wear a wig our hair is kept underneath the wig braided up protected and we need to use we need to do protective hair style sometimes we can't just wear our regular hair out sometimes especially when we want our hair to grow we want our hair to stop being exposed to the different seasons because when you have um when you're a black woman our hair is bougie our hair cannot take certain um seasons and like cold heat like um like when it's foggy, when it's humid, our hair can't take all that. So sometimes we need a break and we do protective hairstyles. And it's just like, if you understood our culture, you would know that it's not trying to be white at all. It's actually being black. It's actually caring for our hair in the proper way that we need to care for it. Like even if we wear wigs, we are protecting our hair. We, th this braids, I mean, we all should know that that's a protective hairstyle for us. That's easy. That you, When you put your hair in braids, that new growth that comes out, that means that your hair is growing. Your hair was put away, tucked away. That is how we have to do our hair. And I just want to, it's just so hard. And it's like, we always have to stress how we're different from every, like everybody's different. The way that white people keep up their, their hair, because you know, 
like the white beauty standards always pushed. We know how they keep up their hair, which is fine. And they and white people and other people of race, different races all have beautiful different kinds of hair and that's fine. But that's not the way, because when you, when, when you live in a whitewashed society, it's just like, you're supposed to do everything the white way. No, I can't do my hair your way. If I do my hair your way, I will not have no hair. So, you know, people just have to realize that the, that God made us all different and we have to care for our hair and care for our bodies and everything in a different way than other people. And that should not be hard to understand. So yeah, and I just wish that our black men understood that too. Like, you, you, you had a black mother, you had black sisters. You should know. Don't look at me and don't be like, oh, I don't want my wife. Oh, uh, I don't want her to wear a scarf. Like, so you was so you was looking mad at your mom because she had a scarf because she was protecting her hair. If anything, you should be glad. If you have a wife that is putting a scarf on and a bonnet on, that means that wife has beautiful flowing hair and she's taking care of it properly. And get out of the whitewashed um, beauty standard of how my wife should look at night in bed type stuff. Cause that's another thing, like men, black men be like, oh, I don't want, and not all, cause I don't have time for y'all. I don't want to be at night with my wife and she's gonna have a bonnet on and she's not gonna be cute and sexy looking. I want her hair to flow and I wanna pull it. Like, you don't have to pull my hair all the time and you don't have, I don't have to have my hair flowing to look beautiful. Like I don't have to. There's very um, beautiful and sexy looking women that I've seen that have their um, nightgowns on or their robes on with their bonnets and their husbands love how they look because it's a different set of beauty. It's not, everything is not whitewashed guys. Get it out of your brains. So yeah, this is my rant guys. I hope that I made sense and I didn't go off into like different topics. I just kind of wanted to center around some of like my frustrations of the black um, men in our community when they act like they don't really understand us as black women and understand our culture and what we do with our hair when they was, were birthed out of a black woman, had black sisters and saw the whole process. Why are they all of a sudden, I guess I don't know if they dated other women that are white or aren't black, they think that we're supposed to be like that, but we're not because life is filled with different kind of people and you should understand that everybody is different and everybody takes their hair different and there's all different kinds of beauty. There's not one beauty and black women don't wanna be um, white when they're wearing wigs, wearing weaves and straightening their hair. Majority of time, we are doing protective hairstyles. If we would like to straighten our hair uh, every couple times a month or a year or whatever we want to do, that's what we want to do. We're different, we're versatile, and I just, I can't wait to get into a world where people understand that and people embrace all cultures and how everyone does things, especially the men in our community. So yeah, guys, hopefully this rant wasn't too bad or too much to follow but give me your comments i want to know have you had these experiences have your like any guys you dated said things things to you black men i want to know what you feel i want to know if you disagree with this or if you agree with me i want to hear from y'all like because i never get to really hear from y'all so i want to hear from black men and i want to hear from black women and i want to know if you if some of these if you shared um or related to some of these things so you know what to do. You can like and subscribe this video and hit the bell so that you can keep on um, seeing more videos um, and being updated when I make them. And remember to um, follow me on Instagram at Witspiration and on Twitter at Witspiration. Hair flip. So yeah, um, keep on watching guys. I'm gonna make more videos, start a conversation in the comments um, and I'll be back.